Hello everyone, welcome to Afro News South Africa. To support this channel please kindly subscribe and share. Turn on the notification bell in order to get all out updates. Naya Haas faced six charges, most of which related to comments he made in defense of his longtime ally former President Jacob Zuma. The African National Congress, ANC's National Disciplinary Committee, NDC, on Monday expelled Mkanto West's Military Veterans Association spokesperson Karl Nyhaus. A report signed by the NDC chairperson Ralph Njijimi, dated 12 December, which Eyewitness News has seen details the various transgressions and witnesses who testified for and against him Nyhaus, faced six charges, most of which related to comments he made in defense of his longtime ally, former President Jacob Zuma. The ANC's national spokesperson Pugh Mabe confirmed the development. We have received the findings from the National Disciplinary Committee and their decision to expel Karl Nyhaus. We are studying that and will be issuing a statement. Nyhaus told Eyewitness News he's yet to receive the letter of his expulsion, saying he will move to appeal the matter immediately. The NDC did not even have the decency to send a letter to me. This was a predetermined decision. The hearings that I was subjected to was an utter farce, and this was clearly a kangaroo court that I had been subjected to. This comes four days before the party's 55th national conference dubbed Nazrak II, which will take place from 1620 December 2022 Nihaz, has set the cat among the pigeons within the ANC on several occasions. Nihaz is an overt detractor of ANC President Cyril Ramaphosa, who hopes for a second term at the helm of the governing party. Ramaphosa is facing off with former health minister Dr. Swilin Kais in the upcoming leadership election. Staunch Zuma supporter Nihos has been public about his dislike of Ramaphosa. He has on many occasions taken to social media platforms to express his disapproval of the incumbent Ramaphosa. Donned in ANC regalia, Nihos is captured holding a placard that reads, Ramaphosa must go. In June, the Zuma loyalist was vindicated after he was arrested in KwaZulu Natal Town Escort while he was. He was charged with convening an illegal gathering outside Escort Prison, in support of Zuma, who was jailed for contempt of a constitutional court order that forced him to testify before the State Capture Commission, which the former statesman instituted shortly before he left office. One can be tempted to say that the African National Congress is in the mission of cleaning up the rotten comrades. This is happening ahead of the African National Congress Elective Conference, set to take place from the 16th of December 2022, the 20th of December 2022. Last week, the African National Congress Election Committee Chairperson Kalima Motlanth announced the suspension of the African National Congress National Executive Committee member and former Minister of Social Development Bathabayal Dlamini from contesting for any NEC position. Two days ago, the same institution announced a ban for the party veteran Tony Yungeni from contesting for any national executive committee position in the upcoming elective conference. Today the African National Congress had announced another bold decision, which is to expel Jacob Zuma's close ally Karl Nyhaus this, one is a decision by ANC's National Disciplinary Committee, which expels Karl Nyhaus. All those whom are expelled now are big supporters of the former president Jacob Zuma.